You guys are ready. That's important for our national security. From Okinawa to Indiana, about 20 bases were chosen to get the military's first batch of COVID-19 vaccines. More than 40,000 doses going out to their own frontline healthcare workers and to some enlisted women and men who are about to deploy. Part of it is protecting um, those soldiers who just because of the nature of their mission um, may be at risk, may not be able to, for example, socially distance from each other. JBLM's chief of preventative medicine, Dr. Luke Mees, says the coordination between the state and county health care with the military during the pandemic reminds him of his own deployment. When I was deployed, uh, I was deployed in Afghanistan uh, with a multinational force there, and so lots of cooperation between multiple nations. And I feel like in some ways, we definitely have seen that. The Defense Department is one of five federal agencies that is getting its own supply of the vaccines. About 100 people got their first dose today at JBLM, including Lorray Munns, a civilian ER nurse on the base. I definitely volunteered and I was anxious to come up today. We need to be there to take care of our patients. Um, you know, also have loved ones at home. I don't, don't want to get sick, so I think anything we can do to prevent the spread and help the spread is something we should all be doing. Madigan Hospital serves the general public in emergencies like the 2017 train derailment, but during the pandemic, it's been a daily mission with a different type of stress that starts to alleviate today. When you're taking care of very sick patients um, on a day-to-day -day basis, it, it can get to you a little bit emotionally, but. You just have to be resilient and keep plugging along. It's kind of a grind. It's a day to day, you know, you just get up every morning and deal with deal with the situation. And sometimes you have these awesome milestone days like we have today. Steve Bunin, King 5 News.